Hey guys, we are back again with a new perfume video. Today I'm going to be talking about summer perfumes. I have so many perfumes in my collection that could be in the summer category and so many that are like classics that I feel like I wear every year. But in this video, I really wanted to talk about the ones that I'm the most excited about that I feel like you guys will really love and that I feel like aren't the same thing that gets mentioned every year. Don't get me wrong, there are some classics in here, some like ride or dies, ones that a lot of people have talked about in the summer perfume category, but I also wanted to talk about some that maybe aren't as talked about for summer perfumes or that I feel like are a little bit underrated and stuff, so anyways. Before we get into it, I'd love if you would consider subscribing down below. I also have my main channel where I do hair, beauty, that kind of thing. So check that out if you haven't. But either way, I'd love to have you here in this little perfume community. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get into the perfumes. So I have different price ranges here, but let's start out with a cheapie that I have talked about before, but I still feel like it's underrated and nobody talks about it. So this is a perfume from H&M. I have this little bottle here, but I do think they have it in larger sizes if I'm not mistaken. This is called Sunray. This perfume is that perfect beachy, fruity, musky summer scent. If you are into Replica Beach Walk or Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess or things like that, this is definitely gonna be like your dupe of that. It definitely has sort of like a musky, like sunscreen tanning lotion kind of scent, but it also has this really fruity cocktail kind of vibe to it. It definitely smells like a bronzy, glowing summer queen. And if you like those types of scents, I would definitely recommend this little cheapie because it's very underrated. And I think it's a really good one for the price and the fact that it's so similar to like a lot of those really high-end beachy summer scents. Such a good one. Moving on to a very popular perfume, and I don't know if this is necessarily considered like a specifically summer scent. I wouldn't categorize it as that. I think it could be worn literally any time of the year, any time of day. This could be a signature scent if you want, but I think that this is like the definition of like a hot girl summer perfume. This is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Like I said, very popular, very well-known perfume. A lot of people Love this as like their night out perfume. It's very girly and sweet and feminine. There is black currant in here. There is like bourbon vanilla, I think. And I'm not sure what all the notes are, but I'll have them on the screen as always. And it's just a very feminine, sweet, like sexy kind of perfume, but it could be worn any time of the day for most occasions, to be honest. It's definitely a little bit of a powerhouse, so keep that in mind. Like this will project and last on you, so if you don't want people to be smelling you and you just want something subtle, this probably isn't gonna be for you, but if you want something that lasts and smells better the longer you wear it, like when you spray this on your skin especially, like I like this on clothes, don't get me wrong, but when you spray it on your skin, those sweet warm notes come out and the fruitiness and it gets like juicier and I can't really describe it, but it just smells so good on your skin as it sits and dries down. And a lot of perfumes don't get that chance because they don't last long enough to do that. This does. So it smells better the longer you wear it and it's literally just so delicious. And it's such a good perfume for the summer. Like I said, you can wear this whenever, but because of that like fruity, sweet girliness, I think it's such a good summer scent. It's literally intoxicating. Like this will have people falling in love with you. And I feel like everyone that smells it likes it and I get compliments on it and it's just so good. So that is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Okay, back to another perfume that I feel like isn't very talked about at all. This is definitely underrated. The only reason that I know about this perfume is because Years and years ago, I smelled it at a boutique in like Florida. I ended up buying it for my friend because she loved it. And then recently I saw it again in another like shop or boutique style store. It's definitely more popular in those types of stores if you want to buy it in store, but you can also purchase this online. It's definitely an affordable fragrance. This is actually an Irish perfume. So 
It is the Inus, the energy of the sea cologne, actually. I just have this smaller size because it's not one of those things that I wear every day and I just decided to pick up a little travel because this is actually a full half ounce and it comes in a little spray so it's convenient. Oh my gosh, even though it has that cologne vibe, it also has that like citrusy kind of like ocean scent that smells good on everyone in the summer. It's very summery, like definitely keep that in mind. This is a summer perfume through and through. It definitely has that sea vibe. It smells so fresh and clean. Sometimes I will spray this on to go to the gym, but since it's a very like strong scent, I'll just spray it in the air and then I'll like walk into it because I don't want to smell too like overpowering at the gym, but it definitely is one of those perfumes that projects and lasts and you can definitely smell it, but it's not overly strong or overpowering. It just smells like fresh, clean, salty ocean citrus and definitely is unisex. Like it does have that cologne vibe, but it's not as like masculine as some of those really fresh like citrusy colognes. I would say it's maybe similar to like Dolce & Gabbana light blue as far as being like in that realm of like androgynous could kind of go either way, but it's 10 times better than light blue in my opinion. This is more unique and I like this so much more and it's so underrated and if you like this type of scent for the summer, I would definitely recommend this one because it's really, really good. And like I said, it's so affordable. Like you can get this for really cheap online. I have a couple of like cleaner perfumes here. I wanna talk about this perfume by Skylar. I've heard some people mention it, but I haven't really heard it mentioned that much for like going into the summer right now. This is the Skylar Coconut Cove perfume. Maybe it's because a lot of people got it like in the fall and winter. I think this was sent to me in like the fall-ish. Not exactly sure, but this is definitely a summery perfume and I was excited to pick it up in the summer. So I'm glad that we're finally going into summer now. I love the new Skylar packaging. I think it's so pretty and I just love this specific bottle because it just has this really beautiful, just like beachy, neutral aesthetic. Love it so much. And this is a coconut perfume, but it's so unique and so different from other coconuts because it's not like a sweet coconut. It's not sunscreeny. It's not like dessert coconut. It's not heavy in any way. This is a very light coconut and it's mixed with like a spicy sort of scent. I'm not sure if it's sandalwood or pepper or what exactly is in here, but it has like a woody spiciness to it, almost like a driftwood. And then that coconut mix in there, it's like a natural summery coconut that just smells so, so lovely. And it's so like classy. This is like a classy summer coconut. It's not like your typical young beachy coconut. It's like more elevated than that and a little bit more unique. And it smells expensive. And I don't know, something about this is just so high-end smelling to me and of course like I said love the packaging so much this is such a beautiful perfume and I do honestly feel like it's a little bit underrated right now because I haven't heard it talked about very much in like these summer perfume videos so I think it deserves more hype it's such a good one do not write it off just because it's coconut if you don't like coconut I promise you it's more mature and elevated than that but it's so good okay this one is a little bit more unsuspecting, I guess. I just talked about this in my last video, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will know what it is. This is Amouage Sunshine. This is a very high-end niche fragrance. I don't have a lot of those in my collection, so maybe that's why I feel the need to say that. Um, this has become one of my new favorite perfumes. Oh my gosh, it smells so incredible. I've already had a few people come into my house and sniff this. And they're always just like, wow, what is that? Like, that's so unique and so good. It's literally like they have the reaction that I had when I first smelled it, which my reaction to this perfume is on camera, but I filmed it on my main channel before I started this perfume channel. So that is up if you guys want to go check it out. I have a whole perfume playlist on my main channel. But I finally picked up a bottle a few weeks ago and it's so good to have it in like a full bottle where I can spray like a full spray of this and not just like a little dabber sample. I love the packaging of this so much. It's very summery and fun and bright. And I do think this is the type of perfume that could technically be worn all year round, 
But to me, it's definitely a little bit more of like a spring to summer type of scent because it has this like sun-dried apricot kind of scent to it. Um, it also has a little bit of almond in there, which someone pointed out recently that I'm not exactly sure if that's in the notes, but I do smell it when I actually think about it. Like I get the almond. Maybe you won't like this if you don't like almond, but I feel like how could someone not like this? It also has white tobacco in it, which is very interesting. I do get that, but it's not in like a smoky way. Like it doesn't smell overpowering or off-putting or masculine. Like it really blends so beautifully with that sweet fruitiness. I believe what's putting off that apricot scent is the osmanthus in this, which is technically a floral, I think, but it smells a little fruity, like dried fruit. I don't know. It's just like a interesting combination of scents and the white tobacco really does blend beautifully with that so yeah i really really love this perfume and it smells like happiness in a bottle to me it lasts so so long on your skin but it doesn't have this like crazy overpowering projection where it smells really perfumey like when i wear this i could spray on a lot and nobody will be like oh who's wearing perfume it doesn't smell perfumey and strong but yet it has this really great lasting power and it does project but it's not insane it's a little bit closer to you i feel like to where people will smell you and you'll smell so delicious but it's not like everyone in the room is like being knocked out by your scent it's so good and i feel like that's a really rare like combination of qualities to have because a lot of the times niche will last longer but then sometimes it's so intense that when i wear certain niche perfumes people will be like whoa like that's really strong this is not this does not do that to anyone yet it still has really good performance so i appreciate that so much and i could talk about this perfume forever but i'm going to move on now let's talk about another clean perfume this is from good chemistry you guys i'm actually a good chemistry brand ambassador i think i've said that in a past video but i haven't been filming perfume videos as much over here so i haven't got to talk about it as much but it's so exciting i love good chemistry i've literally been a fan for years and one of my favorite scents by them is queen bee if you guys have not smelled that you need to smell it it's always been like my friend's signature scent, but I've always loved it too when I have a little um, travel of it. It just smells so freaking good. But anyways, this is not Queen Bee. This is Coco Blush, which is a newer scent from them. And this is definitely a little bit more of that young, girly, coconut summer scent. So if you're into that a little bit more, this would be for you. This one has... I don't think the notes are on here, but I do know that there is pineapple and coconut in here. And I'm not sure what else, maybe like a floral note of some kind, but the pineapple and the coconut in here are very soft and they blend together beautifully. So it gives you a little bit of that pina colada scent, but it's also very uh, soft and girly and sweet and feminine. It's just one of those like put on your sundress, spray this on kind of scents. It's almost like a coconut milk, I think. I'm not sure what exactly is in here, but it kind of gives off like a coconut milk, pineapple juice mixed with like a soft floral, maybe like a peony or something. I'm not sure if it's peony that's in here, but that's kind of the vibe that I get. And it mixes so beautifully together and is just such a good summery scent. And I love the packaging. The new Good Chemistry packaging is just so freaking cute. They also repackaged their uh, body sprays and now their travel sizes come in a spray, which is incredible because I didn't hate the roller balls before. That is what they had before the rebrand, but I just prefer a spray a lot more. I feel like you can just put it all over your body. And so I love that they have their travels in a spray now. So yeah, moving on. We are gonna talk about a classic that everybody knows and loves and I feel like I can't physically do a summer perfume video and not talk about this perfume, like it would be a crime. So we have JLo Miami Glow, such a classic. Everybody loves this, or at least most people. To be honest, you guys, when I first smelled this a few years ago, I was a little bit thrown off. Uh, I wasn't sure how obsessed I was because it is very soapy. When you first smell it, if people don't tell you that, and a lot of people didn't mention it in their videos that I watched, it kind of throws you off. So it's definitely fruity. 
It has a little bit of coconut. It's summer, you know, but it has this musky, soapy vibe to it that's very intense. So I've heard people describe this as smelling like passion fruit soap. And I definitely get that vibe because you do smell that passion fruit in there, which is a little bit more of a, like a musky scent, like guava, passion fruit. Some of those fruits have like a very musky scent to them and passion fruit is one of them. And it has a soapiness to it. So it definitely smells like passion fruit soap with a little bit of coconut water, I would say. And it's very summery. This will last you forever on your skin. Like this will stay around and it will project. And most of the time when I wear this, someone comments on it because it just, you can smell it when you walk in the room. Um, so beware of that. But if you want to smell like summer, like a clean summer goddess, this is definitely that vibe. If you hate soapy perfumes, I wouldn't recommend this. But I generally don't love super soapy perfumes. This is pretty much the only one I can get on with. So keep that in mind. Like you might love it, you might not. If you're not usually into soapy perfumes, but if you don't mind a little bit of a soapiness, I don't think there's any way you could not love this because it really does smell like a clean, summery, just like feminine, beautiful person. Just a few more, you guys. I have one more perfume and then I actually have two body sprays to talk about at the end. This is the Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. So this is a very sweet, very fruity, kind of shampoo-y scent. I think there's plum in here. This smells definitely like it has purple fruit in it, whether that's plum or blackberry or something. And it's very sweet and tart, almost like like a sweet tart or nerds, that type of candy that has that little bit of tartness to it. And it has a little bit of a shampoo-y hair product quality, but a very sweet like hair product, something that's fruity and sweet and doesn't smell too soapy or anything. That's the kind of hair product vibe I get from this, but it's definitely very sweet and fruity. You can definitely wear this during the day, but you can also wear it at night. Just depends what you're going for. If you like a very like young girly sweet scent, for your nights out. If you don't, I would wear this more during the day, but like I said, it just depends on what you like. I don't know, this is just such a good, hard to dislike perfume. I can't see someone not liking this because it just smells good. Like it, I feel like so many people talk about this in their like most complimented perfumes video. I haven't worn this like enough to be honest. I do love it so much. I just have so many perfumes that I love. So that's why I haven't worn it enough since I've gotten it, but it does smell so good. Definitely a good cheapie to check out. And then we do have two more affordable scents and these are both, like I said, body sprays. These are from Sol de Janeiro and I definitely think you need to check them out. I'm serious, you guys. If you usually are not into body sprays, I think you will still be into these because they do last really well. I really like body sprays, even from Bath & Body Works. Like there's a time and a place for that. But I think even if you don't, you might be into these. So we have the classic, the Brazilian Crush. This is the Chirosa 62, I believe. This is the old packaging though. So that's why it just says Brazilian Crush because this was before like all their other newer scents were released um, because I've had this one for a couple years. And then here we have Chirosa 68, which is definitely very different from this one. But let's start with this because this is a classic. Everyone loves this. So good. There aren't scent notes on the bottle, but it just says that it's an addictive pistachio caramel scent. And it really is. It really smells like a sweet caramel pistachio fragrance with like vanilla and it's very warm and definitely not like the typical what we, what you would picture when it comes to a summer perfume. That's why I feel like this is definitely an all year round scent because a lot of people say it's their summer perfume. Some people say it's definitely for the winter time because it's that warm, sweet scent, almost gourmand. So it really just depends what you're, how you view it kind of. But in my opinion, it can go both ways, but I totally understand where people are coming from that this smells summery because it has something in it and I cannot pick it up, cannot tell you what it is. But when you smell this, it has a summery vibe to it, even though it's a sweet, warm scent. Hard to explain. I'm not gonna go into detail about it forever because it, it's just one of those things that you can't explain. You have to smell it yourself. But it really is that perfect combination of a sweet, warm scent that has a summery vibe. And if that's what you're looking for, even if it's not, you should smell this because this is literally so good. This has been popular for so long because of like the Boom Boom Cream and all of that. 
but I'm telling you guys, in the last two years, I have heard more people mention this than almost like any other fragrance. And this is a body spray. That's crazy to me. It gets talked about so much right now because I feel like everyone just has realized how much they truly love this scent. It's so good. And I feel like it's also partially because Sol de Janeiro has come out with so many new scents. And one of them is this Chirosa 68. I think this the newer packaging does have the fragrance notes on it, yes. So top notes of pink dragon fruit, lychee essence, mid notes of Brazilian jasmine, ocean air, and hibiscus, and bottom notes or dry down notes are sheer vanilla and sun musk. And it smells so good. I said in a favorites video on my main channel that this gives me vibes of like a little Princess Polly puffed sleeve sundress and you spray this on and you're super girly and cute and just like basically a tiktoker so <laughs> i just think that this smells so good and i also said in that video that this is basically a dupe for burberry her it literally smells pretty much identical it's maybe like a smidge softer because it is a body spray but i feel like it lasts just as well on your skin and your clothes and it smells so freaking good it's just like sweet and fruity with that little hint of like a musky, like cloud-like vibe. It doesn't smell like cloud though. And honestly, in my personal opinion, Burberry Hair doesn't smell like cloud and it doesn't smell like Baccarat Rouge. I just don't get that, like the dupe thing. But I do understand where it has a similar like cloud-like musky marshmallow, like fluffy scent to it. And this does have that in it as well. But it's not just that and it's not as like pronounced and you definitely get those sweet fruity notes in there i think this is a really really good one for the summertime i love that there's now like a burberry her dupe out there so yeah that is all of these summer perfumes that i had to talk about really hope that you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one